All right, now what I want to talk about right now is working at whatever your goals are, whatever your goals are. It, it don't matter whether it's working around your house, at your job, or, or you have an affiliate marketing dream, you're making videos on YouTube, you're working out, whatever your goals are, whatever you need to do is so, uh, one of the things that I was thinking about, I was watching a video from a uh, bike trainer named Ramsey Dewey, and he was talking about, he did a review on uh, the Daredevil show, uh, the fight that Daredevil had in uh, this hallway where he came and he was beat up already, and he went through that hallway kicking butt and taking names. He was tired. He was getting hit. He was getting knocked down. He was he even backed up against a wall and slid down to the floor because he was tired. And Ramsey Dewey said, what kind of a fighter you are, <clears throat> you can prove what kind of a fighter you are by how you fight when you're tired. And it's the same with anything, with any goal that you have. If you can still go and show up and do some work when you don't feel like it, when you're tired, when you're beat up, when your brain just ain't working right and you get a little bit done to where you show up. Uh, today I had military presses. Now I'm not a very good uh, military presser. I'm not a good presser at all. My best bench was 290 and after the, before that and after that, it was a consecutive 275, which was frustrating. And I finally had to stop doing the bench, not because I just gave up, because my back got in the, in the way. I couldn't, when I bench, you get a little bit of an arch. I rack it, and I couldn't get out of the arch. I have to lift my legs and do a rocking motion, and then... I'd walk around all bend over with my lightning bolt shooting across the lower back. So I decided to stop that and do something that I really like, which is uh, military presses. So that's what I was doing today. And my military press journey didn't start out really well because when I first started working the military press after, I think it was... My gosh, nine, no, about 11 years of not doing any military pressing. And back when I was in my early 20s, I had a 221-pound military press. From that point until, I don't know when, 2003, when I hit a seated 200-pound military press, I hadn't done really any military pressing. And then up until 2014, I don't know what happened, 2003, I just must have forgot about it after I hit that. Now I have a 200-pound military press, a standing military press, but that journey started out really bad because I was never, not having done that in a while and just doing bench presses, I was used to this motion and not that motion. So when I first started, the bar, I unracked the bar, went up, and as I came down, it felt like my shoulders, it was a slight feeling, but it felt like my shoulders were about ready to pop out of the socket. I thought, okay, maybe it'll go away. Added 20 pounds, now I'm 65 pounds. Started to get a little worse. I thought, well... Maybe I can work it out. It's just not used to it. Put another 20 pounds on to 85, and 85 was it. I got a couple reps, and I could not handle the pain, and I've got a high pain threshold. It, I don't know. It, I just rocked it. and went, what the heck? So I'm standing there. I'm looking at it, thinking I want to do these. I don't want to. I ain't going to quit. What can I do? 
And I thought, I know, I'm going to do seated mill, uh, dumbbell presses. <clears throat> so that's what I did for a long time because that took a while because of the pain. I still had pain from that. But I worked up to a heavy set. It was an 85 for three in each one. So I worked up to that. Then I went over, and that was another slow process because I still had pain, but it wasn't as bad. It was bearable. And over time, I worked through it, and finally I don't have any more pain. Got a 200-pound military press. Now, that's not today. Today I worked up to 155 pounds. I started at 115. It was, <clears throat> let's see, 115, 125, 135, 145, 150, and then 155. I got four with 155 because, like I said, about how, you, how you're feeling. I had a lazy, I just feel like going and laying down. But I worked through that. I got four. Okay, I probably could have got five. But when I brought it down on the last one, I, re it, I just stopped. And <laughs> I wasn't going anywhere. So I dropped it. 25 pounds to 130 pounds, and I got three sets of eight. I got really good uh, sets of eight. Well, that's what I'm saying. It, it, like Ramsey Dewey said, you prove what kind of a fighter you are by how you fight when you're uh, tired. The same way with anything you do, whether it's a goal or job you have to do, your future is going to be determined by how you deal with them times when you're not 100%. Okay, when you're 100%, man, that's great. I feel awesome. I can do this. I can do that. I can conquer the world. When you're maybe under the weather a little bit, when you're tired, when you got a fog in your brain, that's what determines getting through that is what determines how strong you are. And if you can keep going and you can work it, and you can do that every consecutive time that you feel that way, okay? And I don't mean you're sicker than a dog and you're down lifting weights. That, that there, that's not what I'm saying. Don't go kill yourself. I know you know your body. You know what you can take. And I know I got to a point where I realized this feeling I have, this maybe I'm under the weather. If I lift weights, I have a good chance. And I've done this where I've worked out. And the next day, I didn't have any problems or the symptoms had lessened. Other times, I went in and I became uh, sicker than what I was the previous day. So I've learned my lesson. Okay, so what I'm going to say is just, just do it. Just, if you, just work through that. Because when you look back, maybe from the next month or the next year, and you see the progress you made despite those down times, those times when you were not 100%, that will encourage you to continue the journey and continue to uh, become unstuck and stay unstuck. And I'm going to put Ramsey's up here somewhere. I don't know which where it's going to be in a, the end of my video, his video. So I'll, you know, do that. And then you can watch that if you haven't seen it. If you've seen it, great. And that's all I got to say. So until next time, this is Kramer Unstuck.